Shazam, Fury of the Gods. It's the sequel to the first Shazam. Um, I like the first one well enough. I, I didn't love it by any means, but I, I watched it and I was like, yeah, that's, that's a cute, fun little movie. Um, you know, definitely different from a lot of the other DC movies. You know, a lot of the other DC movies before this were kind of like, oh, we're dark and gritty. Blah, look at us. We're so serious. And then this uh, movie followed a bunch of kids who get superpowers. And it, it's a fun time. So... So yeah, um, you know, I will say though, I by the end of it, I was kind of like, like when all of the kids got superpowers, I was like, okay, that might be a bit of an overpowered group of people. <laughs> it's like, like six uh, Superman, but we'll, we'll see what kind of threat they, they're going to face in this one. I, I think that there's like literal gods and we're going to see their fury. So let's just get into the trailer and see what they got. I'm an idiot. True. It's showtime. I don't deserve these powers, if I'm being honest. Like, what am I even contributing? Ow. There's already a superhero. <laughs> he just, like, crashed into a lightning bolt on it. This uh, building. is literally huge, and he's so manly. And Batman is so cool. And I'm... Just me. Interesting that they're still using like the Ben Affleck Batman and stuff. And Ezra Miller's Flash for that matter. I feel like a fraud. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway, the wizard gave me superpowers. And well, then everybody got superpowers. Where's everyone going? To fight crime? Okay. <laughs> now everyone's kind of like doing their own thing and I'm the only one trying to keep it together. You understand I'm a pediatrician right oh why, uh, why was the annabelle doll there oh uh, well i think the director of this movie directed the first annabelle maybe potentially i don't like it either way children stole the power of all the gods oh yeah very personal Billy. Look, I might not have as much experience as you because I'm not super old like you, but I've seen all of the Fast and the Furious movies, lady. It's all about family. <laughs> family, guys, that was a signal. Introducing the star of our show. His name is Shazam. I just don't like that. Okay, hold on. This is a pet peeve of mine, but I don't like that. Um. Introducing the star uh, of our show. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but the girl, uh, second to the right, she's the only person that, like, actually stays in, in, like, she's, she's the only, like, kid actress that they use as, like, the superpowered, like, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, everybody else, they, they swap in a different actor for their superpowered counterpart, but she just stays the same. What, why? What, what? It's annoying because it's just like why why is she the only one? I mean I get it because she's probably like already an adult, but it's also like, but it's just weird because they don't do it for any of the other actors. I don't know. It bothers me. It's that's it. <laughs> that's the complaint. Your world will not survive this. I don't know how we fight powers like this. They fight a dragon. I think I know how to fix this dude, but I really it's don't. It's the girl from West Side Story. Everyone can be worthy. Let's give it a chance. Now go fight for your family. Go fight for the world. All right, I was like, who could fight five supermen? I love my life. Uh, a dragon. Just get a dragon in there and you're good. It's good again much like the first shazam it looks cute um i guess the story of this one is going to be that uh well i guess jaimon hansu gave billy the power of the gods like literally the power of the gods and now the gods are like hey you took my power how could you and i guess what's gonna i, I feel like there's gonna have to be some kind of like ulterior or i feel like the gods are probably gonna have to be more evil than that like they probably have some kind of other evil plan because um 
because Jaimon Hansu in one point says like go save the world but it's like if all they want is your powers they're not they they might not necessarily be uh like the world isn't necessarily in a uh, threat in so I imagine there's going to be something else going on there but it's it's also interesting because are these like the daughters of oh wait, wait hold on I think they said the those were the daughters of Atlas I don't think they're the daughters of Ares, which were the the guy that was the guy that Wonder Woman fought. Um, I say the guy that Wonder Woman fought; it's the the Greek god At- <laughs> Ares. But Atlas is the dude who's like holding the the world, right, or Earth, or something, something like that. He's like holding the Earth. So are those her? Are are those his daughters? How did he even get daughters? I guess he he must have you know. Uh imparted his his genes over to somebody before him being forced to carry the earth right or does did, did, did does he did somebody just come in while he was doing it and you know and to do the thing is that is that what happened i'm i'm very curious about this like i i need to know so because of that i will be seeing shazam fury of the gods in in, in theaters only in theaters when it comes out um can you tell i don't really have much to say about the trailer i mean it's fine it's just, it's whatever trailer i don't know it it looks just it looks fine like the first movie so yeah let me know what you uh, thought about it in the comments down below also be sure to like the video subscribe ring the bell to be notified whenever i upload and goodbye goodbye goodbye